They're the iconic news duo that have graced our screens for 37 years. Now Rick and Sue have set an incredible world record. Next, a look at their careers now in the history books. Well, there aren't too many colleagues that have sat next to the same person for 37 years. But this is no ordinary job. Side by side, Rick and Sue have become TV news legends. And now the Perth icons have officially made their way into the history books, doing what no anchors have ever done before. Jordan Katz reports. Now, Perth's number one news. WA has always known it. Now... The world does. The magic of... Susanna Carr and Rick Arden. Good evening, Clark. An enduring reading partnership that's now certified by the Guinness World Records. Congratulations on becoming officially the longest-serving TV news anchor duo. They've been desk buddies for 37 years. I had an ambition to be an architect, so go figure. <laughs> Things change in your life. You know, I, I went for an audition for a job that I'd never considered in my life, which was a radio announcer at the ABC, and I ended up getting that job and then moving into television in, at a stage when women just weren't in news television at all. When I started, they said to me, the weekend newsreader has been transferred to Adelaide, a guy named Gary Davey. So you'll be reading weekend news in two weeks. And I was petrified at age 19. And my dad took a photo the first night I was on. I looked about 15. Technically, Rick and Sue took the title five years ago when they nudged past 32 years. But doing the time isn't enough to make it official. Guinness World Records wants proof, supporting their claim with birth certificates, marriage certificates, employment contracts, media articles, pay slips, witness statements. Lucky, um, Rick and Sue's mum had been scrapbooking. Plus clips from then until now. One from every year. But first, the startling new evidence that could free Ray and Peter Mickleberg. Right, a computer hiccup has midweek lotto in chaos. Alan Bond is enjoying his freedom tonight. He was released from jail. also tonight, WA set to burn more coal to avert a power crisis. It's been quite an extensive process over the last few years. Tell you what, it's much quicker and easier to get a Guinness World Record if you can play the guitar whilst right riding backwards up the street. <laughs> For most of us, we can't remember the news without them. But there are two people who were there at the very beginning. And they're still watching now. Rick's mum, Joan, who's 94. Oh, I'm very proud of him. And Sue's mum, Barbara, 89. I'm terribly proud of her. So how often are they tuning in? With Rick Arden and Susanna Carr. Oh, every night? Oh, heavens, yes. Do you watch every night? Oh, yes. <laughs> Sue's deep wisdom and warmth. She is the sweetest girl. She really is the sweet. She's always been sweet. Rick's energy and tenacity. Their enthusiasm, the obvious pleasure they have in being together, the way they work together, it's a pleasure to see. We're standing by. Sorry, Sue. Even with decades of experience, there are still the occasional slip-ups. Oops, thanks, Millie, and that's Seven News. I think people like it when we make mistakes, actually. And the parts that you don't see at 6pm. Have a Merry Christmas from all of us at 7. No! Yeah, I don't want to say Chrissy. Lines, really. Oh, sorry. You're saying all sorry, of it! Sorry. <laughs> Join me live... What? Watch the news with us each night. Together, navigating the news cycle for decades from pockets of Perth, live at Perth's court complex, and Susanna Carr, live from the Claremont Hotel. And the world. I'm standing here today in Soweto. Here in Monte Carlo Grand Prix time. Here at Kensington Palace. You can see here in Jordan. Here at Horse Guards. Live from the town of Whittlesea. Here I am in one of the oldest parts of Moscow. And in doing so, have become a formidable force that West Australians have and continue to turn to at the same time every night. Susanna, totally professional, brilliant at a presentation, uh, has a warmth and a personality. Rick is on to it all the time and questioning things and checking things and he's really quite pedantic but in a really, really good way because it just keeps the product more professional. Good evening, those stories in a moment but... First... That's Seven News for this Friday, we'll be back with... Jordan Katz, Seven News. And Barra's here as well. Now, Barra, you've worked with Rick and Sue for a quarter of a century. Oh, I know. I knew them before they were world famous, you might say. <laughs> but they inspire us every day, don't they? they? Uh, so great people. And I love their mums too in that story. But now to sport.